Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see the different types of attributes which we are going to use to perform different data mining. Types of attributes. Basically, this is the first steps of performing a data preprocessing. We can differentiate between the different types of attributes and then preprocess the data. So here is the description of attributes of types. First is qualitative. In qualitative, we are having three attributes. First is nominal, ordinal and binary. And second is quantitative that is discrete and contiguous. Now we will see the diagram. In the qualitative attributes, we are having nominal, ordinal and binary and in binary, we are having symmetric and asymmetric data types and in qualitative, we are having one discrete data type and one is contiguous data type. So first, we will see that is nominal data type. The values of nominal attributes are name of things or some kind of symbol. Values of a nominal attribute represent some category or state. That's why nominal attributes also referred as a categorical attributes and there is no order among values of a nominal attribute. See. The attribute can be values, the color can be black, brown, white and the categorical data can be a lecturer, professor, assistant professor, etc. So that values can be a black, brown, white or we can see a categorical data like lecturer, professor, assistant professor. That means we cannot rank them, right? You cannot say a black is 1, a brown is 2, a white is 3. It is random, right? Next is binary attribute. Binary data has only two values. Either yes or no or true or false. Symmetric. Both values are equally important. That means we can say a gender, right? A female and male. Both values are important. We cannot change those values, right? We cannot make any other uh, gender available. Okay. Next is asymmetric. Both values are not equally important. We can say a result. Fine. A result can be positive, can be negative, can be neutral. Next, see, these are the attributes and these are the values. So, so consider cancer detected patients. So we can say we are having a database where we are having a result as a yes or no. So that person is cancer detected. So we will get yes as the attribute or no as the attribute. The result can be pass or fail. A gender can be male or female. Are you getting guys? So next is. Ordinal attributes. A ordinal attribute contains the value that have a meaningful sequence or a ranking or we can say order between them. But the magnitude between the value is not actually known. The order of a value that shows what is important but don't indicate that how it is important. See like grade. So we know A, B, C, D, E, F. So these are the grades. So we can say A is the highest grade. B is the lowest grade. That we can see. Even we can see a basic pay scale. A 16 having a low basic scale. 17 having a higher scale. 18 having a more higher scale. So that is also possible. Next is a quantitative attribute. In a quantitative attribute, we having a first type that is numeric. As we know, a attribute if the attribute is a numerical value like a measurable quantity, a kilometer, a meter 
or we can say uh, inches so the value which is in an integer format right so that type of uh, attribute is numeric attribute then um, numerical attributes are of two types ek one may be interval one may be ratio an interval scale attribute has a values whose difference are interpretable but the numerical attributes do not have the correct reference point or we can say a call of zero point a data can be added and subtracted at a interval scale but cannot be multiplied or divided next is for consider example of temperature in degree celsius if a day temperature of a one day is twice than the other day so we cannot say that one day is a twice as hot as another day right a ratio scale attribute is a numeric attribute with an fixed zero point so we having one fixed point right if a measurement is ratio scale we can say a value as being a multiple of a another value because it is a ratio 1 by 2 so we can say it is a double of 1 the values are order and we can also compute the difference between the values the mean median and mode as well as the quantile range and a five number summary can be formed fine so these all are the statistical term mean median and mode and quantile range and five number summary we actually considered at the time of box plotting next is discrete type in a discrete data having a finite values it can be numerical and can also be a categorical form but we cannot change because it is a finite value this attribute has a finite or a countable infinite set of values see like profession teacher a businessman a peon so we cannot count then zip code consider 301701110040 so we having some values which is a finite value we cannot change that value next is third is contiguous data type in the contiguous data having a infinite number of states a continuous data is of a float type see we have seen the data type which is which can store the numerical type or a real data type but not the floating point right so if you want to store the floating point of data then you can use contiguous data type there can be many values between 2 and 3 see the attribute is height so we can say a 5.4 inches 6.2 inches a weight is 50 kg a weight is 32 kg 33 kg etc so as we have seen these are the different data types of a available in a different attributes thank you